If you were to ask any boy, seven years old, eight years old, nine years old, what, where do you want to be when you're 25, 30? Where do you want to be? They're going to say, big house, fast car, beautiful wife. That's what they're going to say. Every single one. And slowly, the programming of the Matrix beats this dream out of men. Yep. It beats it out of men till they get to my age and they're fat with a woman who doesn't love them, who's unattractive, who's a low quality person, who drags them down, work it's a dead end job, and their wife is in their ear saying, oh, you shouldn't watch Tristan and Andrew Tate. Those, those guys haven't grown up. Grow, growing up is an analogy for having the, the aspiration that every boy has beaten out of them and accepting the programming of the matrix. Let me tell the young men out there, you need to be able to identify low quality friends and cut them off and curate the people around you into a group of winners, a group of men who want to go out there and achieve the same things as you. And the journey to the top not only won't be lonely, but it will be far easier. I saw a TikTok of him recently saying, hey, Andrew, I may be fat and blah, 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 but I have a wife, a woman chose me. And his, that one line, I just thought a woman chose me. When you're a man at the top, you get to choose the women yeah. that you want to be with. A woman chose you, well done. Like that, that you, his dynamic is so wrong, even in that one line, which is, which is one of the only things I've ever heard this guy say, by the way. So when you say I don't have social media, I don't have a TikTok account. Neither do I. Oh yeah, I don't have a TikTok account. I'm not that big in, in consuming social media because I feel like my use for social media is I feel like I have a good message to put out there. So I, I concentrate on, on content creation rather than content consumption. The advice is hang around with people who people who, who, who have a good mindset. I was with my brother and I was like, oh, Andrew, I just completed this round. It's 41 kills, one death. That's pretty cool. Andrew looks at me from the couch. I swear to God, looks over me and goes, yeah, Tristan, but it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know. Fuck, it doesn't matter, does it? And I turned that game off and I never, I don't think I've ever spent more than 10 minutes playing a video game ever since that day. So hang around better people. You know, if you're wasting your life, if you're wasting your talents, if you're sitting there jerking off all day, if you're sitting around dudes who are talking about who their favorite porn star is, leave that group of friends, cut low quality people out of your life and slowly, as you go out into the world and apply yourself at different things that are more useful, you'll probably find out that you're not as useless as you think. Or you might be, in which case, you know, we all need someone to flip the burgers and wash the cars, so I'll tip you heavily, my friend, don't worry. Guys, open your eyes. When I say, uh, you know, when I say don't be a brogy, learn how to make some money, level up, you know, it's not about money necessarily. It's about, I believe if you're a young man in this world and you don't have your financial situation together and you're not part of the, the top 1%, then you're not going to attract the top 1% women. You're not going to meet the women with low body counts who want to love you and start a family with you. If you stay a low quality man, you're going to meet a low quality woman, start a low quality family and have a low quality life. But I say it in an abrasive way and people will cut <laughs> clips of me or my brother saying, oh, you know, don't be broke, make some more money. You know, you don't want to be a broke, you don't want to be a loser. But I'm not trying to upset anyone. I'm just trying to show people the way that I think is to, is to a better life and a more productive, more healthy, more happy life. The media, I think, is so spun, spun so negatively against me and Andrew. I try to empower young men to stay away from toxic people. I'm not talking about toxic women. I will say nine times on a podcast, look, if your friends are sitting around smoking drugs, if your friends, your male friends are losers, if your male friends have no ambition, if your male friends are fat and overweight and keep you from going to the gym, stay away from them. And then on the same podcast once, I'll say, yeah, if you have a girl, if you have a woman who, you know, is trying to control you and is overeating and is lazy and doesn't like you going to the gym and is a bit of a slob, you need to cut her off. And it's, oh my God, Tristan's misogynistic. It's selective hearing. I'm trying to teach young men to stay away from low quality people men and women male and female but they'll sound bite the bits where i talk about low quality women because low po quality people of all races genders sexes they they exist and you need to you need to stay away from all of them i, I never wanted to be a multi-millionaire andrew once said to me famously tristan if we could just find a way to make this is before the internet if we could just find a way to make like 50 100 pounds a day from home that would alleviate a lot of our problems start small because as you climb the mountain and you reach where you wanted to reach, you realize that there are new mountains to climb. There are new mountains to climb for me right now. And I'm at a level that a lot of people can't even dream of getting to. But you see it, it opens new doors when you accomplish the goals that you're aiming for. 
and uh, it opens your eyes to what's possible from there. So don't think I want to be a multimillionaire. Think, okay, I want some financial independence. I want to work 20 hours at the fast food store instead of 40, but supplement my income from home. Okay, I've done that. Now I have more free time. Where do I go from here? So don't don't think how am I going to become a multimillionaire. Think of your short-term goals. Make sure your mother works less, buy yourself some nicer clothes, you know, live in a better apartment, and think of how you can make those things happen. And as you go up in value as a man, you'll learn a lot about yourself, and from then you could tackle bigger goals. When people say things like money doesn't buy happiness, I would say yes, it actually does if you know what to buy. Mm. Lamborghinis are cool, Bugattis are cool, but you know, calling your mother and say, hey mom, what, you're working that shitty job in that kitchen, washing those dishes? You know what, you never have to work again. Mm. That That's happiness. Yeah, yeah. You know? And yeah. no amount of, you know, being broke with good feelings, goodwill, or pray is going to make that happen. It takes mm. money to make things like that happen. That, that's so a good I point. think it's about, you know, have to know what to, you have to know what to buy and you have to know what's really important in the world. Uh, when I needed this surgery on my shoulder, I called the same surgeon who did Conor McGregor's leg and Roger Federer's elbow. Oh, I paid forty-five thousand dollars to go get the procedure done. You know, that's happiness. I don't want some fucking NHS surgeon fucking around with my arm. I only got two arms. I can't afford to fuck one up. So yeah, I mean, it depends. If you know what to buy, if you know what to spend it on. But uh, chasing material possessions is uh, is yeah, it's it's fun, but it's not it's not necessarily happiness. But I was always a very happy, content individual. So now I'm happy and content and rich as fuck, so it's great. Look, genetics, intellect, wit, I mean, there are various things that we're all born with. And when you get to the age of 12, 13, you can see who's becoming a man with physicality, who's becoming a man who's smart. Yes, some people have further to go than other people. I know people who are genetically blessed, genetically blessed, guys who never, ever train and they've got iron six packs and big arms all the time. That guy obviously does not have to try as hard as the skinny little dork to be physically attractive to women. He has to try probably not very hard at all. Maybe he's six foot four, like me. But let me tell you something. Everybody can get there. If you're dumb, you can get smarter. If you are weak, you can get stronger. It's just some people are so far gone in terms of being a strong guy, they're two out of 10. Now, instead of realizing that they need to work in the gym, three hours a day every day for five years to be a physically imposing man, they think, oh, well, I haven't got the genetics, I give up. So yeah, you can actually, you can actually turn a geek into a stud. If someone's a geek, it takes a lot more work than turning a guy who's not quite a stud into a stud. But you only get one body and you only get one life, so you need to get up, stand in front of the mirror, take your shirt off, look at yourself, and think, you know, how far do I have to go? What do I need to change about myself to be the man? I do it every day. Maybe there's a lot you need to change. Maybe there's only a little bit you need to change. 